three groups of people. All right, one more. Uh, relay hand though. Yeah, we need that. Shot put, split out. No, we're not moving. We're not moving at all. One, two, three. All right, Sharad, come on. If I get some waves. Rock look behind the other. I have a week. Alright, everybody face this way. Okay, so y'all pay attention because I'm gonna use this on demonstration. Okay. Alright, so start with Sharad. We got four people in a relay. So Sharad would be one, or that's called the leadoff leg. Tori would be two, Tia three, Caleb four, or the anchor. So that's how that's how the line works. So in between your four people, you have three exchanges. So you have an exchange between one and two, one between two and three, and then one between three and four. So that's the exchanges. Four people, three exchanges. Now in terms of hands, if you start off the race, you always start off with the baton in your right hand. Even if you're left-handed, you're gonna start off with the baton in the right hand. Y'all paying attention? All right, so. The exchange would be right hand to left hand, left hand to right hand, and then right hand to left hand. Does that make sense? So whoever's at the end should end off with the baton in the left hand. So, what we're gonna do now, come this way. So we're gonna use paper towel rules, don't grip them too tight. And this is what, when I learned how to do relays, this is what I use to start off because it's, uh, it's lightweight and it's durable and it's easy to work with. So, if you're at the end, so Alright. Okay. And then you go around the front and then you'll just rotate it back when I need it. Alright, so right now, we're, we can look, y'all can look back to receive the baton. We're not really worried about um, receiving it blind. We're going to get to that point. But I just want you to get the flow of how the baton moves down the line. So on my whistle, you'll just go and then move it right to left, left to right, right to left. Make sense? Yeah. All right. So y'all can look back if you need to. All right. All right. the rotation works. So what we're going to do, we're not going to be using the baton. Now we're going to work on extending our arms. So when you're running, the proper running form, you're supposed to have your elbows at a 90 degree angle. So I need everybody to do this like a robot. And what happens with a lot of people is that when they're running, they let their arms come down. This is not how you run because you gain no momentum by running like this. When you're running, you're supposed to keep your arms at a 90 degree angle supposed to move your shoulders. Your elbow doesn't move at all. So this would be the proper run form. So everybody face back this way and we're just going to work on moving our arms like this. Alright, so let me see from everybody.
Yeah, so everybody gets the general how this is supposed to feel and look. So we're a little bit more comfortable with that. All right, so most important is how to receive the baton. So tear. Whenever you're extending your arm, whenever you're extending your arm behind you to receive the baton, your thumb needs to be pointing down and then the rest, the rest of your fingers need to be pointing outward. So this is how it will look from the left side. This is your left hand and then this is my right hand. And the reason why you want to have your arm out like this is because the person who is ever who's ever passing you the baton, they should be able to place the baton directly into your hand. Now when I learned it in middle school, which was the wrong way, our coach taught us that you're supposed to bring your arm down like this. Well, this is the danger zone because if she's running and she's trying to place the baton in my hand, place it to you. What does she have to do? She has to bend down to put it in my hand. And she already has enough momentum as it is coming in. Trey. She already has enough momentum as it is. So if she's running and she's she has to bend down to place it in my hand, guess where she's going? On the track. And then she falls into you, and then you go on the track. And that's a DQ if you drop the time most likely. So what you need to do when you when your person calls stick, your arm goes back. And then all she has to do is bam, right in your hand. So right now we're gonna work on just our extensions. We're not gonna use the stick right now. And then we're gonna be pumping our arms, and every time I blow the whistle, I want you to come back. Now you wanna bring the arm back that you're gonna be receiving the baton in in line. Everybody got that? Everybody moving, everybody moving. Don't forget about your running form. Back, good. Be the same drill, we're still worried about our arm swing and we're also worried about getting the arm back. So, all right, so we're gonna be moving. So, Caleb's gonna call stick, stick, just tap my hand. Call stick again, stick, stick. Now take it. Take. and then I take it. 
So it's going to be two taps and then you take the soul. Let's do it in real time now. So it's going to be stick. 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 All right. Stick. Stick. Take. Make sense? <laughs> and then we're going to do that down the line. Y'all ready? Y'all call it at your own discretion, but everybody needs to be moving all the way through. Are you sure Rod is on you, buddy? Right now? Yeah. Go. Stick. Take. Sit. Sit. Y'all need to be loud. Take. In case so they hear you. Stick. 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 Take it. Take. Just drop it. That's a quick shift of motion. I'm falling down if I do that. So what happens is since I'm from my right hand to Tori's left hand, we need to be we need to be staggered off. So it's the same it's the same concept as before. I'm coming in, flesh hand back. All I have to do is go in straight in front of me like you're supposed to. You never want to come across your body because this this is the danger zone right here. Just like too high or too high, too low. Same thing, if you have to come across your body, it's not gonna work out. And it might work, but it might not be efficient. So you don't wanna come across. So my ones and my threes, you're gonna be on the outside of the track, or the left side. And then my twos and fours are gonna be staggered off to the right. So our Tori moves off to the right, Caleb will move off, Caleb will move off to the right. And then Tia and Sherrod, Alright, get out. <laughs> Alright, and so my ones and threes will be on the left side. So does that make sense? You just you're still going right in front of you like that. So now we're gonna do this, we're gonna do stick stick take drill, but now it's gonna flow a little bit better. So it's the same drill, you're just going and you're staggering. Alright, so whenever you're ready, take we need one.
Take. Stick. Stick. Take. All look good. Stick. Stick. Take. Strike out, Trey. Oh, now we got to go.